Hello the Pioneer viewers, how are you doing? I hope you are healthy and well. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring you the Russia-Ukraine war. In a moment, we will tell you the details of the incredible operation carried out by the Ukrainian army on the Crimean Peninsula. Factors such as soldiers' ammunition and missile capacity are of course critical in war. However, qualified commanders are required to effectively use them and manage these elements. The training of the successful commander takes many years and requires serious cost. One commander can be considered equivalent to the performance of the 100 soldiers. Recently, the Russian army has taken a big blow. Let's take a look at this event. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring the Russia-Ukraine war to your screens. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. You can also support me and my hardworking team by using the super thanks button below the video. Let's start if you are ready, the Pioneer reports. The Crimean Peninsula is one of the Ukrainian territories occupied by Russia since 2014. This occupation has increased uh, the strategic importance of Crimea. Crimea was expected to play an important role in the Russian military's plan to invade Ukraine. However, what Russia overlooked was the determination of the Ukrainian army to liberate the occupied territories and Crimea. From the day Russia first occupied Crimea, it established a number of military bases on the island. In fact, Russia's intention to occupy Ukraine dates back nearly a decade. They tried to cover up these intentions with propaganda. However, when they failed, they resorted to the direct occupation. Belbek Military Airport was one of the military bases built by the Russia, and a large number of Russian warplanes were stationed here. In particular, the most powerful fighter jets of the Russian army, such as Su-30 SM-2 and Su-27, were based at the Belbek Military Airport under the 38th Fighter Aviation Brigade. Russian sources claimed that the defenses of the Belbek Military Airfield could never be breached, and these claims were frequently publicized. According to these sources, Russian air defense systems and electronic warfare technologies were actively used there, and therefore the airfield was safe from the enemy attack. However, the biggest mistakes of the Russian sources was that they were missiled by the leadership of the Russian Federation, using them as the propaganda tools. The Russian sources were deceived because the claims that the defenses of the Belbek military airbase were impenetrable was easily refuted. Sources in the region reported that several explosions were heard in the early hours of the morning in recent days. The source of the explosions was initially undetermined, and the thick smoke was visible from many vantage points. The Belbek military airbase was hit over the Crimean Peninsula by fencer attack bombers of the Ukrainian Air Force. According to reports, the Ukrainian Air Force used British-made Storm Shadow and French-made SCALP missiles in this operation. During this operation, the main command center of the Belbek military airbase was completely destroyed and the communication tower of the airfield was also damaged. According to eyewitnesses, interceptor missiles of the Russian army were also launched, but it was an attack that could not be prevented. Many parts of the Belbek military airburst, the most secure military airfield of the Russian army, were destroyed. According to some sources, some of the Russian warplanes were based there, also destroyed. The Russian army not only suffered a heavy blow to its military bases, but also lost a very important commander here. This commander was Lieutenant General Alexander Tatarenko, an experienced commander who had served in the Russian army for many years. The death of the Russian commander at the most reliable airburst of the Russian army created a wave of fear in the Russian media. The commander was known for his extensive combat and combat experience, and his death therefore caused deep concern among the Russian sources. Putin and the war leadership seems to be very uncomfortable with the situation. Russian sources claim that the Tatarenko was deliberately betrayed to the Ukrainian army. However, the Kremlin administration and the war leadership prefer to remain silent on this issue. According to the Russian sources, not only Tatarenko, but also more than the 10 Russian soldiers were killed in the attack. 
This raises the concerns of the Russian sources who want the war leadership to be held accountable. Russia cannot control the losses on the front line and the Russian people are now very tired of this situation. While the Russian army is suffering heavy losses at many points, it is also losing its most experienced personnel. This increases the anger of the Russian people. A recent development in Russia shows that the Russian president Vladimir Putin is in a difficult situation. While the Russian army is suffering losses on the front line, the Russian economy is being shaken by sanctions and the Russian people are becoming even more angry with the Russian administration. In recent days, a remarkable event took place within the borders of the Russian Federation. Russian partisan groups reappeared after a long time. Russia does not receive any support from the West, but the situation is somewhat different in the East. In the East, there are countries that support Russia, and one of them is North Korea. In recent days, Russian partisan groups have mobilized and dealt a significant blow to this support. The Russian partisans mobilized at night and targeted the railway line between Russia and North Korea, where intensive transport activities take place. The partisans first carried out a meticulous surveillance activities in the area because they did not want to take any risks. The slightest disruption in the railway line operation could have put the partisans in a difficult situation. An attack on this railway line would have been a major blow not only to the Russian economy but also to the Russian military system. Since Russian factories had to work at the full capacity due to the war, especially when the losses of tanks and armored vehicles increased, it was seen that the Russian industry was not capable of meeting these increased needs. Therefore, these needs were mostly supplied from North Korea. In a recent sabotage attack on the Trans-Siberian Railway, the signaling units of the railway line in the Novosibirsk were destroyed and the tracks were damaged at many points along the railway line. Following these attacks, most of the journeys via North Korea have been suspended. Russia law enforcement agencies have launched an investigation into the attacks and organized an operation to catch the saboteurs. The partisans aim to send a message to the Russian leadership. This is not the war of the Russian people, but the Russian people are paying the price. You will pay for what you have done. Putin and his supporters will answer to the Russian people. Greetings to the Ukrainians and the Russian citizens who are standing up to the tyrant Putin. Russian leader Vladimir Putin has been angrier than ever in recent days. On one hand, there is bad news from the front line. On the other hand, the anger of the Russian people towards him is making him an angrier every day and the anger is causing him to make more and more wrong decisions than ever before. Now tell me what do you think? How do you think the destruction of the Russian commander will affect the Russian troops? Do you think Russian partisan groups will carry out more attacks? How do you think the blows to the railway line will affect the Russian economy? Let me know in the comments. I read and I care about all your comments.